Good afternoon, DC. I'm Jameson. And I'm Adam. And today is November 13th, and here's the news. Congratulations to the Panthers football team for their 34-21 win over McCracken County this past Friday night in the second round of the football playoffs. This is the first time in history that the Panthers will be playing for a regional title in football. The Panthers will be traveling to take on Central Harden with the game time to be announced. On Saturday, the DCHS academic team 9th and 10th graders competed in the JV Challenge. The quick recall team placed first by beating Henderson 29-12, Hancock County 26-1, Orangeboro Catholic 33-1, Breckridge County 39-10, and in the championship game beat Orangeboro 34-14. In written assessment, several students placed in mathematics, Noah Owen was second, in social studies, Christian Vincent was second, and Simon Hansen was sixth. In the arts and humanities, Christian Vincent was fourth. In science, Emmy Wu Tidwell was first, and in language arts, Andrew Ellis was first. Frederick Mendoza Olkin was second, and Carter Bean was fifth. The team finished second in the overall competition. Markwell Tinsley has been nominated once again for Home Team Friday MVP. Please vote for Markwell by going to www dot tristayathomepage dot com slash sports slash htf slash mvp auditions for the DCHS spring musical the sound of music will be held november twenty eighth and twenty ninth three thirty to five thirty in the choir room auditions are open to any DCHS student materials for the tryouts can be picked up from miss Mellon room one oh nine the wife would like to thank everyone that purchased a pulsar last week there are only a few pulsars left so if you would like to purchase one please see mr easily in room 213 attention all key club members this week the DC key club will be going around collecting for the canned food drive please do your part by dropping off canned goods or paper products to your advocates this week the advocate that has the most canned goods will collected will win prizes. Do you have overdue fines from the DC Media Center for which you constantly receive email notices? Are you broke and wish you could get a break on those overdue fines? Next week you can bring in one canned food item for every overdue fine that you have and that fine will be waived. If you have three overdue fines, bring in three canned goods to have them all disappear from your DC Media Center account. This offer does not apply to uh, lost items or ID charges. The DCHS Theater 2 class presents an evening of one-act comedies. Come join us at 6 p.m. on Thursday, November 16th, and Friday, November 17th. Missions are $5. Now stay tuned for this week's edition of Powers Points. Hey, DC family. Uh, today's word of the day is honesty. I want to talk to you for a minute about honesty. You know, uh, you've probably heard the statement, uh, you know, the truth will set you free. And how true is that? Um, you know, anytime you tell the truth uh, and you feel good about that, no matter if it means you might get some consequences because of it, it, gets, it just takes a weight off your shoulders. It makes you feel like, you know what, I've let it out, I'm, I'm honest about it, I've been truthful about it. Uh, and it just makes you feel better about yourself. And you can, when you can go home at night and lay down and have peace, and when you go to bed at night, uh, that, that really is, is something that uh, money can't buy. So um, just encourage you to be that type of person that's honest and I'm always encouraged when I have students come in my office and tell me the truth. Um, I always tell them how I respect them. I appreciate that about them, about their character. Um, it means a lot. So be that type of person. Be a person that's honest and, and truthful with people. It'll go a long way and people will look up to you and respect you for that. Um, got a, quite a few shout outs today so uh, I want you to, to listen to these. Uh, first one is uh, a shout out to Abigail Schrock. She's a ninth grader um, and is a junior high all-state choir participant. She submitted a recorded audition that included several singing requirements, a scale, my, tis, my country tis of thee, and a song excerpt uh, from the all-state literature. All of this has to be sung with no accompaniment. And that sounds like it'd be hard to do. Um, after being selected, she uh, prepared music and will be singing in a choir uh, with the top 200 seventh through ninth graders uh, singers in the state. So, want to wish Abigail great luck. Uh, I know you got, I know you will do well and uh, represent Davis County uh, to the best that you can. Want to give a shout out to Noah Owen. Um, he is a Spanish three uh, student and he had a great presentation. Uh, Ms. Vegas told me 
uh, recently he messaged a famous musician and uh, got a response and was featured in the musician's Instagram. So outstanding job, Noah. Uh, that's a great idea, and I'm glad that you made the connection there with that musician. And I want to give a shout out to Ms. Turner. Uh, she uh, helped the, the guidance with a new student. Um, you know, Ms. Turner's always going above and beyond and giving a little extra TLC to her students, and we appreciate what you do uh, for, for our school and for our students, Ms. Turner. And our last shout out today goes to uh, the DCHS student body and, and staff today for an outstanding, awesome display of Panther Spirit and the past few weeks. Great job supporting and representing DC. Uh, especially with our football team, I want to give them a, a, a shout out. Uh, they have uncharted waters. They've they now in the final eight of the state uh, this weekend. They will play this Friday. will play uh, to go to the final four. So they've never done that before. So uh, shout out and thank you to those who traveled to McCracken County uh, on Friday night. A band of pride, cheer, dance, and spectators. You guys did a great job. Uh, appreciate all the support in backing the Panthers and cheering for them uh, on a hard-fought victory. Uh, also congratulations to the 2017 Panther football team. They beat McCracken County on Friday night in a tough battle uh, against the Mustangs. The Panthers are uh, first team ever uh, in the Class 6A District 1 to knock off McCra McCracken County in the playoffs. It was a game for the record books, and they are also the first team to be playing for a regional championship. Again, this, this happens this uh, Friday. Um, and then a phenomenal job and effort to the Panther football team. Looking forward to seeing you in action this Friday against Central Harden. Great luck to you guys. Thank you guys. Hope you have a great week. And as, as always, stay classy. Deep. Davis County Public Library is partnering with Burns Middle School to bring best-selling adult and YA author Richard Paul Evans to Owensboro. Richard is the author of the best-selling Michael Vay series for teens, as well as several adult books, including The Christmas Box. The Public Library will be hosting a Richard Paul Evans author talk at Town Square Mall on Saturday, November 18th from 6 to 7 p.m. We will have copies of Richard's books for sale and he will be signing books after the event. Are you a junior interested in entrepreneurship or business? The Governor's School for Entrepreneurs GSE program is a three-week summer residential program where selected students take on an idea and work as a team to create a service or product. Follow the steps to complete the GSE application online at www.kentuckygse.com before December 20th. For more information, see Ms. Leisner and guidance. Seniors, now is your time to purchase your senior yearbook ad. Information about ads is on the daily parent email and you can pick up a flyer in student services. Space is limited, so buy your ad today. The deadline to purchase your ad is Wednesday, November 15th. See Ms. Henry 132 for more details. The Davis County Beta Club will be participating in the annual rake and run this year. Plan to join us with a team of friends on November 18th at 10 by the baseball field. Bring your rakes and leaf blowers for a day of fun. See Ms. Payne for more information. Attention juniors. Kenergy is looking for students to send on an all expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. for the Washington Youth Tour. Eligible 11th grade students must live in a home powered by Kenergy and have at least a 3.0 GPA. See Ms. Leister and guidance for an application. Applications are due to Kenergy by December 31st, 2017. The 2018 Governor's Scholars Program GSP applications are available at gsp.ky.gov. Complete applications and recommendations are to be turned into Ms. Leister and guidance no later than December 1st. Hey DC, I'm Price. And I'm Blake, and here's your sports news for this week. The Panthers soccer team lost in a tough matchup against St. X in the state championship this past Saturday for a score of 3-0. Congratulations to the Panthers on such a great season. The Ladies Panthers cross country team finished third in the state cross country meet this past Saturday. The Lady Panthers were led by Carly Hoffman who finished fifth overall. Nicole Hammersback finished 31st and Madeline Rhodes finished 43rd. From the Panthers cross country team, Hunter Curtis finished 16th overall. Panthers football team won their first game of the playoffs 33-7 against North Harden. Joey Cambridge finished with 234 yards and three touchdowns. Markwell Tinsley had 55 yards and a touchdown. Landon Newman had 101 yards and two touchdowns. And Blake Baker had 145 yards and two touchdowns. Then the Panthers beat McCracken County High School on Friday 34-21 in the second round of the playoffs. Landon Newman had 277 rushing yards and four touchdowns. Joey Cameron threw for 245 yards and a touchdown, and Mark Phil Tinsley had a touchdown reception. That's all your news for this week, DC. The academic team PAA number three versus Henderson and Breckenridge Varsity and Junior Varsity. Quick recall and written assessment. Couple gobble, DC. Stay